If you think there's more to teaching than multiplication tables and I before E, if you believe that learning to share makes us better adults, not just better children, if you understand that when students go home, a teacher's day is far from done, lessons need tailoring, resources need organising, if you believe that teaching is a calling capable of shaping lives for the better, if you believe teachers can help mend friendships and heal broken hearts, if you know our future depends on what we teach today, and that sustainability is a necessity, not an option, if you believe teachers can instill confidence, build resilience, and inspire wonder, if you think teachers deserve recognition and rewards designed just for them, and above all else, if you believe that teachers do one of the most important jobs in the world. The Feelings Mutual. them. I've also explained the types of microscope. Now I want to demonstrate how to use the microscope to examine plant cell and animal cell. So in order to examine the plant cell we shall use onion tissue. This is onion tissue and onion is a plant. So this is onion tissue. So the first process in examining this onion tissue cells is to keep a drop of water, this seed water, a drop of water on the center of the slide. This is called glass slide. What did I call it? Glass slide. slide. So you put a drop of water on the glass slide. This is a glass slide. Then we use the tweezer and peel the skin of this onion. Peel the skin, the outer skin, remove it. Then we now peel a small piece of onion skin and introduce it into the water droplet on the glass slide. Then we put a drop of diodine stain on the specimen. So this is the onion tissue cell introducing water at the stand with iodine solution. We now use the tweezer, collect one slip. 
the microscope slip just one and cover the specimen do it gently and carefully cover the specimen so the essence of covering with slip is to prevent what contamination, contamination and air dry in. do it gently and carefully to avoid trapping air bubbles this is a clip on the stage of the microscope you place the slide on the microscope stage and allow the specimen to stay over the hole of this stage then you hold it with the what clip hold the slide with the what clip so that it will be steady then you adjust the mirror you can see mirror here you adjust this mirror to reflect light to reflect light on the specimen then you open the iris diaphragm to get more light on the specimen then while viewing through the eyepiece you adjust the objective these are called the objective lenses use the revolving nose piece and swing into position with the low power times 10 is the low, lowest power times 10 and uh, you use the coarse adjustment knob coarse adjustment knob to bring the specimen into initial focus then you raise up the stage you move the stage bring the objective lens down and up until you bring the specimen into view okay. so as soon as you get the the view of the specimen then you use the fine adjustment knob to bring it into sharp focus you now observe round the samples the various size of the specimen, the various parts of the specimen will be observed. So, similarly, you can use this method to see other organisms, the specimens, like the human chick cell, can also be observed in this process. But before I go into that, I would like you to come and view, see the onion roots onion tissue cells you will see how the cells have cell walls and whatever thing you will observe in the microscope will be sketched on the board it will be sketched on the board and you make your observations and make sketches of the specimens. To examine animal cell, a drop of methylene blue is placed on the slide, center of the slide, methylene blue, which will serve as a stain. Then, toothpick or any other sterile hygienic applicator can be used to collect sample of epithelial cell from inside of the cheek cell, from inside of the mouth. The epithelial tissue lines the inside of our mouth. So we can use the toothpick and collect a sample of the chick cell and then introduce it onto the methylene blue on the slide as follows.
This is a sample of the epithelial cell from the from the mouth or cheek. So I can now place it on the stem. Then I will use the tweezer, collect the cover slip. Collect the cover slip. This is cover slip. I will cover the specimen to prevent it from air drying. It can now be placed on the stage or the microscope as usual. We use the clip to hold the slide to prevent it from wandering. Then we adjust the mirror to provide sufficient light to the hole. Viewing to the eyepiece and adjusting the quartz and fan adjustment knob. We can also swing the higher power. We can also use times 40, times 60, but it is always better to start with the lower power, which is times what? 10. Which is times what? Ten. Ten. So we examine the animal cell under the microscope. So you can see it. You can see the animal cell. And whatever thing you will see when we show on the what board. You make sketches of what you have seen. The board. You can view it. You can view it. Please do that fast. Whatever thing you will see will be shown is obtained by multiplying that of the IPs with that of the what? Objective lenses. You have to examine others. This is freshly obtained pan wine. And we know that yeast is a fungus which causes fermentation of sugar. It lives in sugar solutions like pan wine. By means of the dropper, we collect a few drops of the pan wine, introduce it on the slide, use tweezer, collect slip, cover it, and examine under the microscope. But if you cannot see the organisms clearly, we can now apply stain. And in this stain, a methylene blue can be applied and then examine accordingly. The microorganism that we are likely to observe here is yeast, which causes what? Fermentation. Which causes what? Fermentation. Okay, at this point, we can now go to another aspect of these practical demonstrations. As we saw them under the microscope, you are expected to sketch what you observe under the microscope. And if you look up here, here you will see that this is the onion cell as it is observed under the microscope. And this is the animal cell, which is a chick cell, as it is seen under the simple microscope. By comparison, we can see that the plant cell here is rectangular in shape. Why an animal cell is spherical in shape? You can see the cell wall of plant cell. These are the cross walls. And inside this plant cell, we have what we call the cytoplasm. This is large vacuum. Plant cell also has a nucleus. 
and uh, some organelles. The same nucleus and organ is also found in animal cell. It's found in animal cell. And then we have vacuoles. Animal cells have smaller vacuoles. It has smaller vacuoles. Then these are the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is uniformly distributed in the animal cell. While in the plant cell, it is superficial or peripherally distributed. Animal cell does not have cell wall, but it has cell membrane, the outermost membrane. So in practical exercise, we normally sketch what we observe under the microscope. So these are typical examples of plant cell and animal cells as seen under the microscope. How to use microscope to examine some of the microorganisms, how to prepare their slides and how to use it to see microorganisms. I hope you can carry out the experiment on your own using the microscope. Yes. Yes. So at this point, if you have any question based on what we have just done, you can simply ask it so that we will explain it. Describe an experiment to demonstrate the presence of bacteria under the fingernails. To demonstrate the presence of bacteria under the fingernails. This is part of the question from SSC June 1993. They asked this question. And I've told you that microorganisms including bacteria cannot be seen with the naked eyes. And bacteria are ubiquitous in nature. They are found everywhere. Bacteria are found inside our body. They are found in our fingernails. So if you want to demonstrate the presence of bacteria in our fingernails, you will carry out very simple experiments. But remember, before you carry out the experiment, you have to know the aim of the experiment. So, according to this question now, the aim of the experiment will be to demonstrate the presence of bacteria under the fingernails. We need materials or apparatus to describe this experiment. One, we need nail cutter. Nail cutter. We need blood agar, or what is called the nutrient agar, which we shall use to culture the bacteria. We need incubator. We need cover sleep. We need microscope. We need wire loop. So these are the requirements to carry out this experiment. Then we need petri dish. To carry out this experiment, we need microscope slide. Then procedure. How to carry out this experiment? We use the nail cutter to cut the, the nails. Then by means of the wire loop, the nail is introduced into a petri dish containing the nutrient added. Then the petri dish is placed in an incubator. You can see the incubator. We have petri dish containing nutrient agar or the 
Lord Aga. This is a petri dish containing nutrient agar of the blood agar. Then once you cut the nail to the nail cutter, use the wire loop, sterile wire loop, introduce the nail into this petri dish, then cover it. Then we we'll carry this petri dish and put in the incubator and set the temperature at, at 7 degrees Celsius and leave it there for about two days which is approximately 48 hours. At the end of the second day, we shall examine the petri dish for bacterial growth, for colonies of the bacteria. We shall take samples from the petri dish, place on the slide. Possibly we can stain it Cover with cover slip and watch under the microscope in order to identify the type of bacteria that is that is involved. I hope with this simple experiment I have answered.